One of the most iconic landmarks of Cape Town is Table Mountain. I mean, check out these amazing views behind me. It's one of the seven new natural wonders of the world. You can take hiking routes up to the top if you're feeling adventurous, or like us, we took the five minute cable car. African penguin make it part of the Boulders Bay colony. Now these guys are an endangered species and can be only found along the coastlines of South Africa and Namibia. To get here it's only a short 45 minute drive from Cape Town, but worth it to see these few guys. The Cape of Good Hope, the most southwesterly point on the Cape Peninsula in South Africa. It is said on a very bad weather day, you may be lucky enough to see the phantom ship, the Flying Dutchman. If you've seen my Outer Banks video, you know I love a good lighthouse. Brunswick Wine Tram is a great way to explore many of the wineries in this region. We're currently at the Placier Winery enjoying a red wine and artisanal chocolate tasting. This is our third stop on the tour, so I won't lie, a little bit tipsy, but hey, the greatness about the tram is we're not driving. We have stopped along Chapman Peak Drive, which is one of the world's most scenic drives. It's nine and a half kilometers and starts at Hout Bay and goes to Nordahope. There's many spots to stop along the way to get amazing views just like this.
Ferry now headed over to Robben Island. Uh, Robben Island became famous as it was a place where Nelson Mandela was incarcerated for over 18 years. When we get there, there will be a tour led by an ex-inmate who will give some insights on what it was like to be a prisoner here. at the top of Signal Hill to cap off my vacation with none other than paragliding. We'll be running off this, leaping over and flying down. And um, I'm very scared, but super excited as well. Bosch Botanical Gardens is this incredible place nestled at the bottom of Table Mountain. You could literally spend hours here and you wouldn't see it all. It's very relaxing and I highly recommend a visit here if you have the time. Our adventure in Cape Town has unfortunately come to an end. I'd have to say my highlight was definitely parasailing off Signal Hill, or maybe the friendship wine train. I wish I had a few more days as I would love to have seen Stellenbosch, the whale watching, and maybe get the courage to go shark diving. If you have any questions, drop a message as I'd love to help you out on your next trip here. <laughs>